we're taking you behind the scenes of what it's like to be a content creator at a theme park. Welcome to our world behind the lens of theme parks. It's a mix of chaos, creativity, and countless of retries. Join us and a few others as we pull back the curtain on what it's like to capture the magic and madness of trying to grow in the theme park and adventure content space. We're bringing it to you raw, real, and ready to be revealed. We're testing, no, testing, we are testing this mic. Like, can't do it. Makes no sense because the lighting is different. It is 1.21, we are just getting to the park. We spent the last hour talking content and what would work and just video ideas and what shots we need to take and maybe an outline of what those things would look like. It's actually, I would say like a full-time job on its own. Unpaid at the moment job as a, growing, as a growing creator. On top of that, unpaid. And despite all of our planning, we've faced our fair share of challenges. Why, because it's spicy? Even the birds are like, hell no. They're like coming to attack us, walk. They're like right behind us. What is going on? Why are they so know. close to us? It's too loud. Wow. That's another thing. You have to be mindful of audio. <laughs> it has been a day. Half of our day, the mic for some reason just cut off, it did not work. So we will be back tomorrow to record the rest of that stuff. Everything from bad audio to rogue mics, and yes, mini meltdowns. Okay. Are you just recording me having a meltdown? <laughs> Okay, I'm done. And of course, for Hwok, sticking to the script is always an adventure on its own. $75 for $65. That's the regular one. Mother what do you mean it's the regular just say, one? Just say the beginning and I'll say the other. I can spin it to you and you kind of yeah. like go. Ready? Okay. All right, so this is it. We've officially got the food card. It comes in a nice little lanyard, a nice little plastic. But aside from planning and shot lists, the true question is, what exactly do we bring to the theme parks to keep the content flowing? I have cords, this charger, this charger, because wow. you never know when your batteries are going to die. Right. I have a raincoat and a bag. I have to take you for a little walk through. I have the lens, the baby goes here, the camera goes here, an abundance of memory cards, packs on packs of gum. And then this little compartment is for snacks. This is traveling light because all I brought is the camera. Normally I bring other things. From chargers to camera gear and yes, snacks. Every creator has their own survival kit. You always, always need snacks. The meter runs low and you start getting angry. Some, however, might argue that the true test of wills is actually prioritizing the perfect shot over a perfect day of rides. How long have you been here? I've been here since long. Heavy rides, heavy rails. Zero. I don't ride rides. I can come here to do this. <laughs> if I'm here, you know I'm doing this. That's pretty much it. How many rides have you ridden today? 45. No, for real. Oh. Zero. Zero. But one. Oh, boy. How many rides have you guys gone on today? Zero. I have, I'm not going to go on a ride this whole trip. It's How an experience. How many rides did you do yesterday? The mummy. How many rides have you ridden today? The amount of rides I rode today and yesterday combined totals to zero. Committed to the grind. Four days, and we've ridden two rides. Good exercise, though. I won't lie to you about that. It's, it's just a completely different way to experience the theme parks, for right. sure. And during special event days at the parks, patience is a necessity. You can spend up to hours waiting for the perfect moment to get that perfect shot. We are sitting right now two hours early before the parade starts. Ooh. Why are we doing this? Because we're because crazy! We need a prime spot for all the good angles for the people with the cameras. And laying on the ground for a perfect confetti shot is all in a day's work. Growing as a creator is filled with challenges, from the struggle to capture everything to the desire to just enjoy the moment. Every creator's experience is uniquely their own. The hardest parts for me, being remote, is the fact that I come here three or four times a year for long weekends, basically. So what I try to do is get as much content as I can and as much information as I can to try to last till my next trip. And thank you for taking me seriously. Not wanting to carry a camera and wanting to live in the moment, but also I do enjoy taking the photos, taking the videos, looking back on the memories. Just every once in a while I want to put it away. I am not here, so I have to fly down from Pittsburgh to get there and it is, uh, that makes it hard. And then to try and overcome that, I have to take a lot of photos for the short amount of time I'm here. I think this is, uh, it keeps me sane, especially like while working remotely. I think it kind of 
allows me to keep that like social connection going too. And behind every creator is a support system that plays a crucial role in their journey. Curtis and I came down for about 25 days for Halloween Horror Nights last year, which was super fun. At first we knew absolutely nobody, but by the end we knew all the scare actors and I knew those people off by heart and I miss it so much. I can't wait for this year. We'll be back. Will you be back for a whole month? I don't know, I hope so. At least for a couple of different times. Because yeah. we got to see how things evolved. It was fun, we made a lot of friends. But creating content, especially as a couple, means facing our fair share of creative differences. We promised to keep it real raw and just like honest about the journey. Creating content as a duo, like Walk and I, we both have very different opinions about how something should right. be done or sh should be filmed. We just had an argument about uh, two minutes ago. All right, I'm not wearing the same clothes. I Walk from the future, off. just... Nope, forget it. What? No, no, no. Uh, yes, that's me. Says you. Yes. The person who literally talks so much. Yes. All right, walk from the future here. As you can see, we're not because I complain about that too. Okay, let's go. Keeping it real, keeping it honest. Um, if you are trying to get into this with your partner, expect a lot of bickering. Especially in the beginning. What are you community. saying? The bottom line is we gotta do it solo. So just stick solo. Maybe you do okay, it. Okay, let's work just out. turn Wicked Thrill Seekers right. into Wicked Thrill Seeker. Bye. Seeker. Bye. You just witnessed. <laughs> That's it. That's the end. Wicked Thrill Seekers is over. <laughs> Collaboration definitely breeds creativity, but it's not without its hurdles. Our partners share the joys and adjustments of their unique roles in the creative process. Yes. How would you say your experiences coming to the theme parks has changed? Oh, it's completely different. We used to ride like all the rides. We get up and do rope drop in the morning. Be here all day, eat all the food, do all the stuff, and now we walk around and take pictures of people, which is super fun, don't get me wrong. I would say the most difficult thing is knowing just when to get out of the way, which I'm very bad at, because I'm just always right where the pictures are happening. <laughs> but I need to leave, <laughs> and that's it. And for the budding creator, yes, you, thinking and hoping of starting your own content creation journey, let these words of wisdom guide you. What would you say to someone who is trying to get into content creation and wants to do it for theme parks. Whatever gives you that creative outlet, that's what it's all about. Like for me, this is like therapy, you know what I mean? It's just like, it's an outlet for creativity. So if this is what does it for you, then just do what does it for you. What would be one of the things since starting your content creation journey has changed so much? Definitely my confidence. Um, I am very introverted. Never would have done this uh, had it not been for seeing other people do it and making friends. Um, so my confidence in reaching out to people and walking up to strangers <laughs> that I met online um, or cast members, TMs, and just asking them who they are, what their Instagram is, and, and meeting people. Remember, authenticity and passion are your greatest tools. Start with what you have and let your unique perspective lead the way. I started by actually just using my iPhone. Honestly, I just came here with a phone and I just shot and it was it was great. Now you have, show us your bad boy. No matter where you are in your content journey, storytelling is a journey of perspective, creativity, and most importantly, fun. And sometimes you meet some really great people along the way. What is one of your favorite things about being a growing content creator at a theme park? Meeting new friends who are friends that I would actually choose to hang out with in real life is the best part. If you like what you do, you pick the right niche, you're gonna have fun doing it, and that's what matters. At the end of the day, you shouldn't be thinking about the end goal, but the process along the way. And we're, st we're still in the journey right. process. Let's just put it that way. We're growing, and you are, grow you are watching us grow because right. we're nowhere near um, no, no any nowhere anything. Near. <laughs> but wow. it's fun, it's fun to take you along these uh, behind the scenes and show you a right. little bit of like how, what our journey is and what our friends journey is as well because this is the vibe. I honestly would love if everybody can do it. Life is too damn short. Go out and do it. And there you have it. That's what it's like to be a content creator. So there you have it. There's a content creator. And there you have it. That is exactly what it's like to create content at a theme park. All right. We'll see you in our next video. Stay spooky, boys. <laughs> Did you stop it? What are you waving at? The people. What people? The boat. <laughs> I don't know what to do here. He's so weird.